What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today we're going to be doing an in-depth comparison of the iPhone 5S versus the Nexus 5. We'll be taking a look at the build, the picture and recording quality, benchmarks, as well as mic quality. So let's go ahead and start with the build of both of these devices. So if we take a look at the left side of the device, we have two volume buttons as well as a mute switch on the iPhone 5S, all made of aluminum, and a Nexus 5 one bar volume rocker made of ceramic. Now if we take a look at the bottom, we have a headphone jack, a mic, a lightning cable port, and a speaker on the iPhone 5S, as well as the speaker and mic, as well as that micro USB port. And on the right side of the device, we have the SIM trays for each of the devices, as well as a sleep wake button for the Nexus 5, also made of ceramic. Taking a look at the top of the device, we have a sleep wake button for the iPhone 5S, a mic, and a headphone jack for the Nexus 5. And if we take a look at the back, we have an aluminum body for the iPhone 5S mixed with glass, as well as a plastic body for the Nexus 5. But they both have that unibody design where they feel like one solid piece of equipment. For the cameras here, we have an 8 megapixel camera for both devices, and we have a dual LED flash for the iPhone 5S, which actually gives you better true tone pictures, especially in low light conditions. Now taking a look from the side here, you can see that the camera lens for the Nexus 5 is substantially raised, so you could get some rocking there if you put your phone down on its back, but it's really not that big of an issue. Now for the front facing cameras, we have a 1.3 megapixel camera for the Nexus 5 and a 1.2 megapixel camera for the iPhone 5S, and we'll be sure to test that a little later on in this video. So for the home buttons on these devices, we have a Sapphire Crystal Touch ID button for the iPhone 5S, and on the Nexus 5, we don't have any physical buttons. It's all fully integrated into the phone. Of course, one thing to mention is the screen sizes. We have a 4.95 inch screen on the Nexus 5 compared to just the four inch screen on the iPhone 5S. So now that we've looked at the design of both of these devices, what we wanna get into now is the nitty gritty. We wanna get into benchmarks. So we're gonna be benchmarking the processor on both of these devices. So the first thing that we wanna do is make sure that we don't have any applications running in the background. And we don't, so we're good to go. Let's go ahead and swipe over and open up Geekbench. So we can see here on the iPhone 5S, we have an A7 chip clocked in at 1.29 gigahertz with one gig of RAM. And on the Nexus 5, we have a Snapdragon quad core 800 processor with two gigs of RAM clocked in at 2.27 gigahertz. Now you can see here that the iPhone 5S actually finished first. I skipped ahead a little bit there, but we have a single core score of 1416 and a multi core score of 2567. We have a little bit longer to go for the Nexus 5. So what we're going to do is skip ahead as well. So we can see here that we have a single core score on the Nexus 5 for a 907 and a multi-core score of 2723. Now that's better than the iPhone 5S and it's probably due to the fact that this is a quad core processor against a dual core processor which is in the iPhone 5S. So the next thing that we want to test is loading up games. So what we're going to be doing is loading up Temple Run 2 as well as Hero Academy and we're going to check to see which one actually loads up a little bit quicker. So we're going to swipe over here and we're going to do Temple Run first, so ready, set, go. And it looks like the iPhone 5S actually beat out the Nexus 5 in that, but not by a substantial amount. So let's go ahead and open up. Well first let's close out of the applications here so they're not running in the background. And let's open up Hero Academy. Ready, set, go. All right, so it opened up, now it's logging in. Yeah, it went a little bit quicker on the iPhone 5S than the Nexus 5. So while the 5S actually did load up games a bit quicker, it wasn't really a substantial amount. And we didn't really expect it to be either because these are both top tier devices. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the camera quality of these two devices. So we can see here that we have the iPhone 5S on the left, the Nexus on the right, and I think that the iPhone 5S actually did a little bit better in taking a picture of this rose than the Nexus 5 did, just because you can actually see the insides of the rose and a little bit more detail of those petals right on the inside. Also on this picture, I think that the iPhone 5S beat the Nexus 5 just because you can actually see the leaves, the colors of the leaves, and it's a whole lot brighter than the Nexus 5 did. Now this can come in handy in some situations, but other situations the iPhone 5S can actually white things out. Now in this photo, you can actually start to really notice that yellow green twinge that you get in the Nexus 5 on all of the pictures. The iPhone 5S actually is a better picture. This is a more representative of what the grass looked like, but you can get that yellow and green twinge that you got on the Nexus 5 and it actually looks not too bad on the grass but in other situations it's not going to look that great. So this photo was actually taken during a very sunny day. 
and it kind of depends on how you like your photos to look i mean there is more contrast on the nexus 5 but you can see that the iphone 5s has a much brighter tone so you can see the details back in the trees more than you can on the nexus 5 so for that reason and that reason only i'm going to go with the iphone 5 so here's a photo in low light with flash so you can see the iphone 5s really does step ahead of the nexus 5 when it comes to low lighting conditions and that's because of that true tone dual led flash that it has on the back of the camera as opposed to the nexus 5 only having that white led flash Again, here in normal lighting with no flash, you can kind of see that dull yellow greenish tone that you get with the Nexus 5 when the iPhone 5S actually does bring out the color in the wood and it actually looks much better than the Nexus 5. So next up, let's see how well each of these devices record video. All right guys, so what we're gonna be doing now is checking out the eight megapixel cameras on the back of the devices. So right now we're in normal lighting conditions and we're also going to be checking out how well the mics work on each. So you'll see a little indicator whether or not my voice is coming from the iPhone 5S or from the Google Nexus 5. So we're in normal lighting conditions like I said, so let's go ahead and move to daylight and see how well they actually transition. And we'll just pan around a little bit. Now one thing to mention is you actually can't touch to focus in on the Nexus 5. You can do that on the iPhone 5S. So let's go ahead and walk out here and let's take a look at this rose bush. And let's just let it autofocus right there. Now this is not focused in. Now one thing I can do is I can touch on the iPhone 5S and see how well it focuses in there. Now it's kind of hard for me to see right now, so I'll have to check out the video once I get back inside and upload this. But let's look at these flowers here too. All right, so it looks like the Nexus 5 focused in pretty well with the autofocus. Now, if I touch to zoom on the 5S, or I'm sorry, to focus in on the 5S, it's a little bit better. Now, let's go into a darker area and see how well it does. There's my dog. Hey, puppy. All right. So, here is a darker area. So, we'll just pan around, see how well it performs. All right, so in my opinion, and probably your opinion, the Nexus 5 actually had much better audio than the iPhone 5S. You could barely hear me in that last recording. So what I'm gonna do in the next part when I'm showing the front-facing camera and the differences between those two is I'm going to amplify the iPhone 5S audio and let's just see how the quality holds up when it's put at the same level as the Nexus 5. All right guys, so now we're gonna be checking out the front facing camera. So you can see here, I'm actually looking down at you guys because if I look up, you'll see that the Nexus 5 can't actually focus in on my face. So it's just completely black. You can see it's really whited out on the iPhone 5, but let's go somewhere a little bit more darker and let's see. So this is in really low light conditions. So you can see here, that the Nexus 5 actually isn't picking up much of anything. It's just a black screen. But you can see on the iPhone 5S that we still have pretty good quality. I mean, it's not the greatest quality, but it's a whole lot better than the Nexus 5. So let's go, actually, let's go back into here. Sorry if I'm making you sick by spinning around. So here's just natural light. So you can see it's much better on the iPhone 5S, in my opinion, than it is on the Nexus 5. So for my final thoughts, I think that the iPhone 5S does have a better camera and in the tests I ran, loads up games faster. But being one second faster loading up games isn't that big of a selling point for most people. Now one thing that we do need to keep in mind is that the Nexus 5 costs $349 for an unlocked 16GB version, while the iPhone 5S costs $300 more than that at $649 for a 16GB unlocked version. So for that amount of money, you could buy a Nexus 5 and then go buy a separate and better camera than the one built into the iPhone 5S. Now, having said that, they both obviously have their selling points. And one of the major pros of the Nexus 5 for me is that 4.95 inch screen. It's really great for watching Netflix or YouTube, but sometimes can be hard to reach everything using one hand. Overall, they are both really great devices. If you're on a budget or the large screen is a must have, you'll have to probably go with the Nexus 5. If you want a little bit better performance with a really great camera, then the iPhone 5S is the way to go. Let me know what you guys think about these two devices in the comments below. Which do you prefer? Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you're into gaming, go ahead and check out my gaming channel. We have a lot of fun over there. Alright guys, until next time. Peace.